Hi guys, hope you're doing great. So this is my second attempt of uh, doing uh, demo videos. And this time I'm doing this uh, in front of my desk. I put the camera in front of my face and my desk. And the, the first video I did, the camera was here and heading this side. And the second video I did, the camera was here and it was heading out uh, of the room. And uh, in this attempt, I am doing it from the front of my desk, and uh, there's in the previous videos I noticed really bad lighting condition here because I have um, transparent glasses all all over there, and uh, when sunlight comes in from that mirror, it makes a really difficult lighting condition for the shooting things. And uh, so that's why I, I'm trying this video with a flashlight. Okay? So I turn on the flashlight of my mobile device to, to tackle this lighting condition. And I don't know how much it's doing good. So when, when I turn off this flashlight, it looks like this. Okay, it looks like this. And I can also increase EV a little bit more like this but I prefer to I prefer to do it with the light and when I turn on light another problem I'm facing is when I look at the camera and then I look at the screen so due to the heavy lighting in the front of my eyes <laughs> I just become blind for a few seconds when I see on the screen so I think it is difficult to do video tutorials and it is difficult to teach something with these heavy light so most probably I will not use this light but but this light sounds really really useful to tackle the lighting condition okay. so and the second thing I learned from the previous videos is I must need to put my mobile device on do not disturb mod because sometimes the notification comes in and it sounds weird and uh, today it is in a view day here some sort of so a lot of people came here to conduct their interviews so a lot of people here today a lot of boys here today so and it is uh, oh no <laughs> i just became huh? it is 5 um, 58 it is around 6 uh, p.m. here so the first video I did it was also some 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 8, 7 p.m. or something and the second video I did it was 9 p.m. so and this third video I wanted to do it uh, on the daylight time but you know in the daylight time the sunlight comes in from these glasses and it creates you can also you can also see uh, this side. Look at this side, just uh, with the AC. They, they have glasses with uh, the walls and sunlight coming in. You notice the sunlight is coming in from these glasses, and it creates difficult lighting condition here. And okay, now try some coding. file with app dot no app three dot js oh no I cannot see anything let me check if I can increase the brightness of my screen Cannot increase my brightness. So, okay, I concluded that this flashlight is useless for me. Maybe Salil can give me some recommendation how to how to tackle with this flashlight. Okay, so let's see. Console dot log. Uh, <laughs> I'm totally blind. 
consolidated log, final testing video. Okay, save it and press control plus back tick. Okay, and uh, right, not the space. Uh, App3.js. Okay, final video testing and testing video. Okay, so that's all for now. And uh, I'm, I'm using Camtasia or Camtasia or whatever it is. So I'm, I'm trying it out, how it works, is it good for me or not. It, and by the way, if you guys know some better software than Camtasia, because it is my first time for professional purpose, so please recommend me if you know some better software than Camtasia. I don't know. The light is. I'm, I'm turning on this flashlight. Okay. Oof. And increase the EV a little bit more. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> the lighting was too heavy by the way. So that's all from my side for now. Okay, I applied the noise cancellation techniques in the last video, but I found it less useful than I thought. And uh, I must need to find some, some room here or, or some place with the less noise and uh, maybe I need to choose some some time, some night time or some early morning time for recording for better noise condition. Yeah. Okay, that's all for now. Please comment your views about this demo. And for my YouTube uh, uh, followers and my YouTube guys, I'm making these test video to, to prepare myself to make a new course. I already have published uh, one course of uh, making chatbot on Udemy and on the YouTube. And uh, because of transition in chatbot uh, industry, all of all of uh, the platforms were releasing new versions of the library, like Dialogflow released version two, the Alexa released their new SDK, and uh, the Action Google released their own SDK, and th there are a lot of transition, and no, and even Dialogflow announced that the version one is no more. Because no more, they will not support the version one, and all the new features they will release uh, in the future, they will only support in the version two, and not the version one. So I stopped there. I was I was planning to make phase two of my initial course, but I didn't make the phase two because of their announcement. So. If I make the phase two with version one of Dialogflow, it doesn't make any sense because the future is version two of the Dialogflow. So I waited for a while, I studied, I explored the version two things and the new SDK of Action on Google and the new SDK of Alexa. So this time I will also involve the Alexa things in my course, of course. So <laughs> hoping for your pray. And uh, let's see what happens. And I'm really excited to make these courses. And uh, okay, I will also try to involve some smart home things with IoT and uh, most probably some blockchain and AI because new technologies are coming. And I was reading an article and listening to people's they are saying that now when you buy a smart device, if they got any problem, let's say you got in a smart AC and AC got some problem of filter or something, and AC will call their owner itself. So, and, and make payment via blockchain. So device will make payment in, in its own, and lots of things going on there. 
and the blockchain is there because the, the payment is happening in the, the cryptocurrency and uh, the AI thing of course there are some equipments in market like uh, a smart doorbell which recognize your face and open the door and you can also control the same door with your mobile application so i will try to involve these things in my course to make you to make you a full stack uh, iot and a smart home and voice application developer so yeah i'm working hard for those things right now and uh, Yes, if you have any suggestion, so please, you, you can, I, I'm open to, for suggestions, no problem. So you can, you can talk with me, you can join my Slack channel. I already created a Slack channel for you guys, for YouTube guys. And uh, my local friends can also join that channel and you can discuss things there. I will, I will create a separate portion for this discussion if you want to. So let me know uh, about your views, about your opinions. And uh, thank you for watching MKBHD style, yeah? <laughs> Peace.